Gambia Uncharted. Well, Gambia Uncharted will want to discover Gambia, the everyday Gambia, things that are normal, mundane, the little things that everyone does on a daily basis in the Gambia. So we want to showcase what this country is about, the foods, the people, our art, our culture, and what embodies a Gambia. This is a lifelong mission, a mission that I've appointed myself to be a person who will unearth this, bring it to the wider audience. So follow me as I discover and rediscover what we all know and love to be the beautiful country we call the Gambia, the Smiling Coast. Ready for another episode of Gambia Uncharted? Follow me. Yeah, right now we're driving to Sankandi. A lot happened in Gambia as it relates to Sankandi and there is a famous word called the Battle of Sankandi. So we're going to visit um, Sankandi to see really really what happened and Gambia Uncharted will share that with you in this episode. But there is a famous word in the Gambian history called the Battle of Sankandi. I want to know what this entailed. I want to know what transpired. So I drove all the way down to Sankandi. So follow me as I go down and see what Sankandi and the Battle of Sankandi was all about. Sankandi is a village in Kian, right at the edge of Fonyi and um, the fringes of Kian. Historically, a lot happened in Sankandi in the early 1900s. But this is a village that's not only historically relevant in the Gambia, but equally culturally rich as it relates to tradition. We're trying to find out the way the people live, the rural way of life, the Gambian way of life, the communal way of life. And here in Sankandi, for them to achieve an objective in this festival, the community came together, and with community coming together, this is the outcome. There are women here cooking porridge, there are women preparing some kous, preparing some rice, so that the visitors coming to Sankandi will have food to eat. But more so, the types of food they're cooking are very healthy. Healthy food that Gambians of old used to eat. These are our traditional food. So, right, okay, we're in the Gambia, the gentleman is holding a gun, but this gun is not meant to be an assault weapon. It's a weapon for hunting. He uses this gun to go and hunt, because the tradition here is hunt and gather. These people, they go out in the bush, hunt, and they have a subsistence way of farming, meaning they farm for what they eat. And this is rural Gambia. This is a masquerade, otherwise called a tankaran, very prevalent in the Gambia, especially within the Mandinka community. This is something that is way, way part of their heritage, part of their culture. 
part of their tradition and it comes out in different forms and in different occasions and festivities. Be it during circumcision, being during marriage, being a day like today. I said in the 1900s there was a feud between the village of Jataba and the village of Sankandi and um, the colonials came in trying to quell what was happening and in the process six or seven colonial police white British were killed and this led to a lot of around here and later on I'll get the elders of the village to explain to us what transpired here during the battle of Sankandi. Alfali is in the name. Well, my fit no sooner for a quarrel. Faroni Musumariama Dabo Sankandi de Molemo a fruit at Jataba. O Musumariama Dabo Bria Beta Futola Aba Fama de Wolmin, a local minibe Duma, a Mankulia. Ana dafo afaya ko mfula farola genne mbari nkiola ikameng ye ni emusota nti faro ni sende faro futa o dalilo la ka sai ibeje genne atuma dindu be menne be musota la musu mariama dabo banda a dingol to kom yo musu mariama dabo dingol bari nkiolo Ici, la photo la foi Musota et Musota Katandi. Il n'y a pas de farole. Musumaria m'a dit que nous sommes tous les farols. Mais si nous sommes tous les farols, nous sommes tous les farols. 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 Nous sommes Kafarota sangani bulukadi jata bala. Ndunda nywa la farola kumi na faromu mtola faromu sangani farald faroto mowlet. Fitindo na sangi na kono. We had a reenactment of the battle of Sangani, which took place in 1900. The neighboring village of Jataba and Sangani were having their feud for quite a while. But on this fateful day in 1900, the inspector, a white British, came with six constables, British also, to Sankandi. And for one reason or another, whenever they're in town or they're in the village, they're on the other side of the village. But for some reason, they came under this tree this time around. The elders in the village, the Alcalo, was out to put the goats out there to graze in the grazing fields with his grandson. He had an encounter with this British and he told them, may I please take the goats to the grazing fields and I will come back. Respectfully, he came and greeted each one of them and the inspector identified himself. After the inspector identified himself, he continued his salutation to the last person and that last person held his hand and refused to let go of him. He forcefully dragged his hound out of the grip and left. While living, they shot at him, but fortunately he was wearing African charms and amulets and the bullets didn't get into him, but unfortunately they killed his grandson. He ran to the village, told the villagers, we never went out looking for war, but war has dawned on us, and since we are dignified people, we need to go out and respond in time. He came with the villagers. And the villagers on the fateful day in 1900 butchered all the British that came to Sankandi, including the chief of the area who was an indigenous, a Gambian, 
he was equally butchered. And that is the battle of Sankandi. And Sankandi has a special place in the history of this country. And today I'm standing at ground zero where everything happened under this big tree here in Sankandi in 1900. This is a makeshift entertainment complex, a nightclub sort of. There will be a lot happening here, music, entertainment, wrestling. So I just want you to follow me as I find out what's happening in there. Follow me. of Sankandi are doing a great job making sure that there is a cultural preservation as it relates to their history and tradition. 1900 to date is over 118, 119 years. And this is what happened here at the Battle of Sankandi. But not only the historical context of Sankandi as a village, but the cultural aspects of this village. Their dances, their way of life, the way that they dress, the way that they conduct their circumcisions, the way that they conduct their marriages are all things that they try to preserve for posterity and pass on to a younger generation who was so influenced by the Western way of life. So the village life as we know it, we don't have that many elders here. We have much, much more younger generation of Sankandians in here today with us. So if this is not preserved 10, 20 years down the line, if I were to come here, I will not see the same thing that we are witnessing here tonight. Oh. 